Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Kotobukiya Street Fighter Bishujo Jury Statue. That's right, it's the next in the Street Fighter Bishujo lineup. So let's go ahead and check her out. As you can see, she comes in that nice black window box packaging, fully showcasing the statue within. And on the bottom corner, as well as on the left side of the packaging, we get a look at the full artwork by renowned Japanese artist Shunya Yamashita, in which this particular statue is based upon. And on the back side of that box, we get a few different views of the statue, as well as a description of the character, as well as the Bishujo style. So let's go ahead and take a look at this statue outside of the packaging. Now, there is some minor assembly with this one in order to get her to display. The statue itself is all one piece, but she does come with this cool little display base. Now, what's neat about this particular base is that it is a clear disc that includes these two little graphic inserts. So there are different ways you can display this. You can either just display it as a clear base, but if you want to, you can open up the clamshell and you can insert these little translucent pieces that have artwork on there. That way you can display her base with either the artwork that the statue is based upon or just the Street Fighter logo. Then you will notice there's a little clear peg sticking off of there that will perfectly fit into the little peg hole that is underneath her left foot. It's a nice, solid, firm fit, and once you get her on there, she is standing in this fantastic pose where one of her legs is raised up into the air. It's a really great look for this character. Since she is known for her fast kicks, the pose suits her very well, and I'm really impressed with how well it's pulled off, because she's perfectly balanced, so you don't have to worry about her falling over, and she looks tremendous. Now, the Bishujo style roughly translates to pretty girl, so that's the look that they go for with this particular art style, and you can really see that in the character's face. Even though she's got a bit of that evil flair going on there, um, you can definitely tell that she's got a slight beauty to her, um, a very pretty look to her face. I especially love the way her eyes look and the way the makeup kind of comes off the corner of her eyes. But she's got these really great red eyes and I love the way that her tongue is sculpted kind of where it's resting on her top teeth there in a very sultry look. Her hair is done in a very unique style with these cone shaped buns coming off the top of her head and her bangs kind of sweep down along the side of her face in a very natural look. The colors on the statue are very nicely done as well. It's got a really great mixture of blacks and this really awesome signature bright pink look that really stands out amongst that black. She's got these fingerless gloves and I love how each individual finger also has individual painted fingernails. And I love the little spike bracelets also going around her wrists. She's got a very unique top there that's got a great little pink design. And on the back side, I love how it kind of forms a spider. Very cool look. And then the lower portion of the body, she's got these awesome baggy pants that have a very natural flow to them. And the paint deco on there is also very well done because it's a nice white, but there's a good amount of shading on there that really brings out all of the wrinkles and the folds to make it look even more natural the way it's kind of flowing down her legs. And you'll also notice that the kind of open up in these gaps there where you can see that she's wearing some pink tights underneath that. And it looks so natural where it does look as though those baggy pants are sitting on top of the pink tights. It's very well done. The statue is done in a PVC, and of course, there's no assembly required on the actual statue. It's fully painted with a beautiful paint job, and the overall statue is in the 1 7 scale, meaning she stands nearly 10 inches tall from the bottom of the base to the top of her head. This is yet another amazing piece to add to your Street Fighter B Shujo lineup, and she looks awesome when posing next to some of the other Kotobukiya Street Fighter B Shujo statues, such as Chun Li here. So there you go, my friends. There's a look at the brand new Street Fighter B. Shujo jewelry statue from Kotobukiya. For more information on this particular piece, as well as other products from Kotobukiya, be sure to check them out online at www.kotous.com. And you can also like them on Facebook at facebook.com slash Until next time.